Andrew's next point and question. Especially with the Nag Hammadi Library being released around the same time as Crowley's death. Any speculation on Gnostic material prior to the finding of the Nag Hammadi Library with respect to major occult figures having access to some of these works? So my reply is, there were only a few authentically Gnostic scriptures known of prior to 1945 when the Nag Hammadi Library was unearthed in Chenoboski in Egypt. But there may be little way to determine if these texts were actually ever in the possession of the aforementioned major occult figures. For example, the Bruce Codex, containing the Books of Jew and the Untitled Text, was discovered in 1769 and had, by 1933, been translated into English by Charlotte A. Baines. The Askew Codex, found in 1772, contained the Gnostic Pistis Sophia in Coptic, and the Berlin Codex, found in 1896, contained the Gospel of Mary, the Apocryphon of John, the Pistis Sophia, or Sophia of Jesus Christ, and the brief Act of Peter, this last text being translated first by German Coptologist Carl Schmidt in 1903. Additionally, some Hermetica, including the 17 Corpus Hermeticum documents with the Divine Pimander and the Asclepius Treatise, had been translated into Latin in 1471, however had excluded the Hermetic Discourse on the 8th and the 9th that was discovered in the Nag Hammadi. Besides these, many of the Greek magical papyri contents were in circulation from the 1700s onward and began appearing in English translation from 1853. Karl Preisenstadt's Carl Preisendans, rather, collected the work, collected the texts, and published them in two volumes in 1928 and 1931. There has been some speculation comparing the headless rite in PGM volume five, verses 96 through 172 to the bornless ritual of the Golden Dawn, adopted by Crowley as the preliminary invocation of the Goetia. Likewise, the Ethiopic Book of Enoch had been circulating in Europe from the 1400s in various manuscript forms, and, in 1773, British explorer James Bruce retrieved three copies in Guise from his travels in Abyssinia, that was translated first in part into Latin, then German in 1801, and into English by Richard Lawrence in 1821. Additionally, other apocryphal texts, such as Two Enoch or Slavonic Enoch, the fifth through eighth books of Maccabees, the sixth and seventh books of Moses, Grimoire, and others, such as the Sworn Book of Honorius of Thebes, were already widely circulated by this time. It is certain Crowley's passion for ancient texts was piqued by Mather's 1897 translation of The Sacred Magic of Abramelin, and it should not be overlooked. Crowley passed on in 1947, only two years following the discovery of the Nag Hammadi Library Codexes, in 1945, and one year following the first discovery of the Dead Sea or Qumran Cave Scrolls in 1946. 